Und damit herzlich willkommen zu meinem neuen Let's Play von I Saw Black Clouds. Ja, es handelt sich hierbei wieder um einen sogenannten Interactive Movie. Das heißt, wir gucken uns quasi einen Film an und ich werde diverse Entscheidungen treffen müssen. Und dementsprechend ja, wird sich halt auch die Geschichte weiter verändern. Ich werde nicht allzu viel dazu sagen. Wer das bei mir schon mal öfter gesehen hat, kennt diese Art von... Spiel, Schrägstrich, Film bereits und ich wünsche euch auf jeden Fall viel Spaß und werde jetzt erstmal das Spiel starten. Achso, ich werde übrigens nicht so viel kommentieren, sondern in erster Linie nur die Entscheidungen, die ich treffen werde. Viel Spaß! Die nachfolgenden Szenen können manche Personen als verstörend empfinden und oder sind nicht geeignet für Kinder und Jugendliche. Darunter zum Beispiel drastische Darstellungen von Gewalt und Selbstmord. Weiterspielen auf eigene Verantwortung. Wales Interactive. Ghost Dog Films. An Amanda Murray Production. Just relax. You're safe. Washington Irving wrote, there is a sacredness in tears. They are not the mark of weakness, but of power. They speak more eloquently than 10,000 tongues. They are the messengers of overwhelming grief. Today our tears are for Emily. We mourn a young life ended far too soon. We mourn the things we never said could have said, because we never had the chance to say goodbye. Do you think she blames us? Maybe. Thank you both for coming today. I'm sure it would have meant so much to Emily. 
She meant so much to us. Yeah. Christina, I was wondering if you could do something for me. Of course. The pendant Emily wore, it was one my mother gave to me. I wanted to be sure it was safe. I can't face going back there. Of course. I was just wondering. I'll get it. I will get it. Don't worry. <laughs> Now that the clinic is closing, I'm going to have to see one of the counsellors privately. Her name is Dominique. She sees people at her home in the town. I'm glad to leave. There's something quite dark about this place, and I just feel pity for some of the people I've met. The school said I can take as much time as I need to recover from this, but I don't believe them. I can't afford to lose that job. I'm pretending that I'm better than I am. I just can't shake off that feeling of shadows following me. I feel in danger, as though my life's going to end. I tell people that I'm okay, but when I close my eyes, all I see is black clouds around me. much longer will I have to wear this mask? Twenty-first of May. I'm so scared. I found out something about the girl who went missing from the clinic. I don't want to believe it. 
I can't write it down. Warum hat sie sich jetzt nicht das Foto angeguckt? is all around me. I can't tell anyone about this. I wouldn't know what to say. I have to be careful of people now. I feel like I'm being followed. Don't tell me you're going tomorrow. I can't stick around here. I need to get back. Come on, I haven't seen you for ages. I don't know. I'll just stay for the weekend. We should sort things out. I just want us to remember Emily together. Emily. Emily.
there? Why don't we start with why you're here? My friend Emily died recently. Yes, I heard about that. I'm sorry you've had to have that experience. It must be very troubling for you. She mentioned you in a journal that she kept? I'm sure she did. I encouraged her to keep a diary of her treatment. Please, I really need some answers. Maybe it would be better if we talk about your feelings about this. You could tell me what's troubling you? Close your eyes and listen carefully to my voice. you to go to your deeper place, way down inside of you. Think of your calm, safe place. Go there in your mind. That's good, Christina. As you go deeper into the woods, the deeper you go into yourself. Christina, Christina there was there nothing was you could do. do. <laughs> what has scared you recently? I saw a ghost. Do you believe in ghosts? 
No. It's all right not to be sure. They are, after all, just a figment of our imaginations. Representations of our anxieties and guilt. Then why would I see one? Our minds see what they want us to see. Do you believe in the afterlife? I didn't. But now I'm not sure. Do you believe in carrying on when everything else looks hopeless? Yes. Tell me about your relationship with your parents. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm going to have to get that. It's a prearranged call from one of my clients. Please, wait here. I shouldn't be long. Reste calme. Voilà, je suis là, je vous écoute. Non, 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 non. Il ne faut surtout pas faire ça. Vous avez tellement bien travaillé la dernière fois. Übersetzt das doch mal. Très bien, voilà. Peut-être plus tard, après, oui. Patience. Beaucoup de patience.
I'm sorry, I was just trying to find a bathroom. Of course. I should have shown you where it was. What was I thinking? Thank you. Die Alte ist mir aber auch irgendwie nicht ganz koscher. Thank you for your help. Not at all. You're an interesting girl, Christina. I hope you find the answers you're looking for. Do speak to Reverend Peter at the church. I'm sure he can help you with this. I understand that, of course. But can you explain to me why you think a dead person is talking to you? It doesn't talk to me. Uh, she puts thoughts in my mind. How is this affecting you? Uh, I feel her here every day, um, especially at night. As though I'm always being watched. What she used to say was comforting. Um, but now it's things that frighten me. I'm concerned that this imaginary friend is affecting your emotions so much. Imaginary? She is as real as you are! Please. Talking to me, Emily. It's important you explain this. I can't. Why not? <laughs> because she's right there, standing behind you. <laughs> Reverend Peter. Peter, please. It's Christina, isn't it? How can I be of help? There are a few things I wanted to ask you. Well, after a bereavement, people often want answers. Hmm. Also Emily hatte echte Probleme, verstehe ich jetzt so, dass sie denkt, dass sie irgendwie psychisch krank ist. Deswegen nehme ich mal das. It's about Emily. I just wanted to better understand what happened. Friends and family have all sorts of feelings after an event like this. Uh, uh, guilt is, is very common. Emily talked about seeing ghosts here in the village. And it's something that I've experienced as well. It's very common after a death like this to have such experiences. Even for those that don't believe in the paranormal. Maybe it has something to do with the story of Agnes. Agnes. It's a local legend. It dates back to the 18th century. She was a maid who worked in the Lord's estate. Her parents brought her over from Sweden when they came to work here. The story goes that she had an affair with the Lord. 
when she fell pregnant, he was, he was horrified that she wanted to legitimize the relationship. It was all very different back then, of course. Würde mich jetzt beides interessieren. Um so what did she do? Well, when she refused to back down, he threw her out. It was very cruel. Her parents weren't around for her, and, and as a single pregnant woman back then, your, your choices were were very limited. Out of options and without any hope, she threw herself into the lake on the Lord's estate, drowned herself and the unborn child. And that's where the ghost stories come from. Thanks, Anne. Bye. Not exactly. It's said that she cursed the area with her death and that her spirit returns to taunt young women into taking their own lives. <laughs> It's all nonsense, of course. Ja, es gibt anscheinend doch mehr Selbstmorde, nicht nur den einen. But there are more suicides here than normal. Some areas are more prone to this than others. The sad fact is, suicide hotspots occur more often than you'd think. And having a local legend like this only adds to the problem and plays into people's neuroses. Doesn't help that Alexander keeps talking about it. He's the Lord's descendant. He lives here in the village? Yes. The estate's had the same family and for hundreds of years. I wouldn't recommend talking to him about this. It's not the kind of thing you want to hear when you've just lost a friend in the way that you have. It can be a little bit grumpy too. Hello, Alexander? Yes, what do you want? I believe I met a colleague of yours today, Dominique. She mentioned to me that you worked at the clinic. I was hoping I could ask you some questions. Very well, come in. Thank you. This is my friend Emily. She passed away recently. Yes. I was at the clinic when your friend was there. But purely in an advisory capacity, I uh, couldn't comment on her treatment. Ähm, das wird mich beides interessieren, aber warum ist das Krankenhaus geschlossen worden? Ja. Why did the clinic close? Ja. Series of patient disappearances, suicides. Over the years, it led to its closure. Ich möchte ihn gerne auf beides ansprechen. Das heißt dann wahrscheinlich, dass das die Geschichte ist. Ich weiß nicht, ob der dann grantig wird. Mich, mich würde echt beides interessieren. I spoke to the vicar, and he told me the story of Agnes. That man's a fool. He believes in God, but doubts the existence of evil. Ridiculous. So you believe there's some truth in this curse? Oh, yes. This house has been under dark clouds for hundreds of years. Ever since my ancestor foolishly impregnated that stupid maid. Have you seen her? Of course. She haunted this house for years, burning the life out of anybody who lived under its roof. Yeah, the good reverend hasn't told you the full story, has he? 
my ancestor was an arrogant man. He was also stupid. A man in his position should never have gone near one of his domestic staff. I mean, a maid, for goodness sake. I suppose her being Swedish must have added an air of exoticism. Of course, the inevitable happened. Usually these things are handled discreetly, but for some reason she thought he would acknowledge her as the father of her child. A preposterous idea back then. She had to leave, of course. The other staff turned their backs on her. Nobody in the village would help. <laughs> Quite alone, with no family to turn to, she was left with almost no choice. They say that a soul that dies in a state of rage leaves a curse. Well, Agnes cursed us all that day. So people believe these deaths were because of her? Records in this house were very carefully kept. Particularly so on an estate so heavily reliant on agriculture. The phases of the moon were noted. Agnes's death was remarked on at the time because of the blood moon that appeared in the sky on the night of her death. A lunar eclipse. Indeed. Two years on and Agnes was barely remembered until the next blood moon appeared in the sky. That night, a maid in the house swore she'd seen Agnes on the stairs, whispering to her. The days went on, and she became more and more hysterical, claiming she heard Agnes speaking to her wherever she went. Next morning, the estate steward found the maid hanging from a tree. After that, we grew to fear the appearance of a blood moon. Even now? Let me show you something.
out there used to be the outbuildings that the servants lived in. What happened? I had it burned to the ground. When one of the servants started complaining about a woman who'd be seen in the building at night, I'd finally had enough. Um... Did she ever come back? <laughs> I had the grounds of the house lined with salt. She never returned. But has she been seen in the village? Oh, yes. By the lake where she died. I really don't recommend you go there. I just want to know if she had anything to do with what happened to my friend. Look, I hope you find your answers. But if I were you, I'd leave this accursed place. Excuse me, do you know where the old clinic is? You mean the asylum? Yeah, it used to be mental health. Yeah, that's it. The old mental place. They turn it into houses now. Follow the road up half a mile and turn right. Thanks. Yeah, you watch yourself up there. Pretty girl like you. All sorts of weirdos hanging about that place. Yeah, thank you. The mental people go about there sometimes. Watch your step. Not that I'm prejudiced or anything. Kommt mir aber selber irgendwie ein bisschen irre vor. Hallo? Anybody here? Keine Ahnung. Meint, rechte Tür ist der Ausgang, dann nehmen wir links.
Natürlich schauen wir uns weiter um. Wir sind doch in der Draufgänger-Version. Ich weiß es nicht. Sollen wir hinsehen oder nicht hinsehen? Ich meine, wir sind ja in der Draufgänger-Version. Vielleicht bringt sie uns ja jetzt um, keine Ahnung. Oh mein Gott. Ich bin mir noch nicht sicher, ob wir das Geheimnis lösen sollen und ihr helfen sollen oder ob wir genauso irre werden sollen. What's your me? game? You shouldn't be here. This is a close sight. Mm. Ich weiß nicht. Sollen wir ihm vom Geist erzählen? Der hält uns doch für total irre. Äh. Nicht, dass wir irgendwann selber in die Nervenheilanstalt kommen. Ähm. 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 Nee, wir sagen mal nichts. What do you think you were doing, wandering about like that? If I was a patient here, I just wanted to see it for myself. I don't think so. Well, this place has been closed more than 20 years. No, she was here two years ago. This place was closed up after the fire broke out on the ward. They moved all the mental stuff to some other place.
Alexander war jetzt der, der Typ da, ne? Ich meine, der Pfarrer, der wird mir wahrscheinlich nicht so wirklich helfen. Ja, der ist ja sehr begeistert. I see you didn't take my advice. That is unfortunate. <lacht> I'm sorry. I just... I had to know if you know who this is. Yes. This is Lucy. Unfortunate girl went missing from here well, a few years ago now. Three, to be precise. Do you know why? I have no idea. You could try talking to her father, Matthew. He still lives in the village, but I really wouldn't advise it. Why not? It left him in a certain... fragile state. <laughs> he lives on his own now. Thank you. You should stay away from this. No good can come of it. Your friend is gone. There's nothing you can do about that. I just need to know the truth. There are some answers you should not be looking for, Christina. This is so awkward. Hello, Matthew? It is. And what can I do for you? Um, we were wondering if we could talk to you about your daughter. Oh. Well, I suppose you'd better come in then. Our friend recently passed away. And we felt that it might have something to do with what happened to your daughter. Oh, well, I'm sorry to hear about your friend, but I can't see what it would have to do with Lucy. Our friend Emily had an interest in what happened to your daughter. She had a photo of her. Why would she be interested in someone who ran away from home? Ja, wir müssen ihn natürlich um Hilfe bitten. Well, we don't know, but we were hoping that you can maybe help us. Well, I can certainly try. Did she talk about anything strange before she ran away? Look, I don't see why I need to talk about this. Ja, mit was würde sie denn lügen? Sagen wir es mal so. Aber ich würde es ihm mal direkt ins Gesicht knallen. If you haven't heard from her in this long, do you not think that something else might have happened? No. She's somewhere. Look, I don't know where. And for whatever reason, she doesn't want to talk to me yet. But I'm sure she'll call soon enough. Look, in my heart, I know she's fine. Have you never thought that Maybe she's not coming back. Oh. Wasn't that bloody vicar? She is coming back. She's fine. I don't think that's what she meant. Look, I want both of you out of my house now. That could have gone better. <laughs> Go on, say it. What, that sometimes it's better to let me do the talking? <laughs> Don't you think he was a bit of a creep? The way he was looking at us. Yeah, you managed to get a lonely guy to chuck two women out of his house. <laughs> Quite an achievement. Shut up. Besides, I've got an idea. Hi. Sorry, I thought I should come and apologize for my friend's behavior. Do you mind if I come back in? All right, come in then. Warum soll auch nicht die Tür einfach so offen sein? Oh, 
Und ein Amazon-Paket hat er auch noch im Hintergrund. Schleichwerbung. Ähm, nee, nach Charlotte möchte ich nicht sehen. Ich gehe mal nach oben. Ich weiß nicht, keine Ahnung. Äh Hinter die Kommode schauen. Okay. How it... Was that noise? Did you not hear that? Look, I know you're up there. Well, you can get yourself down here and get out. Can't believe we just did that. I hope you found something. I think I did. I thought we were never going to get out of there. Did you smell the drink on him? No. Okay. Do you think this is the lake she was talking about? That's the only one in Alexander's estate. So it must be the one she drowned herself in. So is this where she's supposed to have drowned? Ja, vielleicht, aber ich denk mal, ja. I guess. How can you kill yourself and your child? Ach so. Moment. Hä? Ich dachte, die reden jetzt von der äh, Tochter von dem einen. Ugh. Egoistisch war sie auch irgendwie, weil sie hat sich selber und das Baby umgebracht. Äh, und mh, ja... Also ich sag mal, sie war definitiv verzweifelt, aber ähm, sie hätte es natürlich besser lösen können, anstatt den, den Lord da so anzugehen, weil eigentlich hätte sie es damals wissen müssen, dass er eben nicht zu ihr stehen würde. Aber sie war natürlich definitiv verzweifelt. Do you think we should be doing this? Nein, wir sind Draufgänger. Do you remember what she said in her note?
About what? Don't follow me where I'm going. I know. What if she meant this? I'm gonna take a look around, see if I can find that orchard that Lucy mentioned in her diary. It's got to be near here somewhere. I'm not going anywhere. Dann bist du die Nächste. Wir sind ja draufgängerig, ne? Und ich will ja auch wissen, was hinter diesem Geist steckt. Ob wir die da irgendwie befreien sollen, sag ich mal, oder ob sie uns auch umbringen will. Ich habe keine Ahnung. Schlaganfall. Charlotte! Charlotte! Charlotte, come on. There's a pathway through the trees. Maybe it's the clinic Emily went to. Ugh, gives me the creeps. Let's not stay here too long. Wait. I think we're here. Maybe let's look around the back. Maybe this is a way in. 
You think this is a good idea? Nee, aber wir machen es trotzdem. Hold this. I don't think we should be doing this. Folge Geister und also Legenden sozusagen. Ich kann auch da einbrechen. Ich habe viele dumme Ideen. Charlotte. She's here. Aber die ist gut erhalten dafür, dass die schon so lange tut. Charlotte? Charlotte? Klang eher danach, als ob die oben irgendwie runtergesprungen ist, oder? Mich wundert, dass das Gebäude so alt und leerstehend ist und trotzdem nirgendwo mal so eine Diele knarrt oder so. Ja, erstmal durchsehen. Wenn wir schon unsere Freunde nicht finden, dann wenigstens vielleicht ein paar Dokumente. Ist das even possible? Hallo? Ich das bloß nicht mit. War nicht Charlotte, lauf hinterher. Jetzt will ich es wissen. Nein, wir müssen Charlotte suchen. Geh weiter. Charlotte. Charlotte, Charlotte, if you're there, bloody come out!
Charlotte, please come out. Who are you? Ich meine ganz ehrlich, meint die ernsthaft, dass die Charlotte gleich um die Ecke gesprungen kommt und sagt, boom? wiedersehen willst, den Rest konnte ich nicht sehen. Who are you? Keine Ahnung. Ich weiß es nicht. Wo sehen wir den Geist denn eventuell? Theoretisch müsste die unten sein, oder? Scheiße, ich glaube, sie war oben. Wenn ich das richtig gesehen habe. sich das die Mumm mal zu stellen äh, zu, zu tun und dann äh, auf die Knie zu gehen. Das war ein bisschen niedrig, oder? Oder war das nur eine Warnung? Es kann sein, dass sie jetzt da unten steht, aber warum sollten wir nach unten schauen? Sagen wir es mal so.
Doch nicht mehr. Charlotte! 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 That's not really how it happened. Is it, Christine? No. What are you doing? I'm going to bring you out. Three, two, one. It's all right. Just relax. Settle. Compose your thoughts. This? I believe we're making progress here. This is as close as we've come in any of our sessions so far. But we still have a way to go. Äh, jetzt fühle ich mich irgendwie verarscht gerade. <coughs> it felt so clear. The sedatives will do that, but it also shows that we are getting closer. Think about it carefully, Christina. I know your thoughts will be very confused by the drugs that they gave you, but it is important that you remember. Ja, <lacht> wo dran? An den Selbstmord? An die Geister? Äh, äh? Why did I see ghosts? Well, ghosts can often represent unresolved feelings. In your case, guilt over Charlotte. Pursuing you in a different form. Warum habe ich ihn gesehen? Wen, wen ihn? Was wie? <lacht> ich bin verwirrt. Um. And the suicide? Oh, that's obviously a reflection of your own feelings of self-harm following the incident. And why did I see you? Ach so. Evidently you see me as a weak opponent. Unable to overcome your feelings about this. <laughs> I must say I'm a little disappointed of your lack of faith in me, but I have come to expect a certain level of antagonism from anybody who comes into this room. Especially someone with such troubling feelings to recall. Now, should we try again? Ich weiß hier nicht was. Also ich meine, es war offensichtlich nur Hypnose, aber lass uns weitermachen, klar. Listen to my voice. When I count down to one, you will be back in the deep recesses of your mind where all your thoughts will be clear. Three, two, one. Marriage consists of entrusting ourselves into the deepest care of another. It is a Not sacred a trust. Sight. Today is no, also an opportunity for us to not only share wish it was you. in the joy of Emily and Sam's love, but to also remember and appreciate the joy, love and friendship that we experience in our own lives. But more importantly, it is a journey that they will take together.
Wondering when you want to go with Where could be worth going in this one horse town? Besides, I'm feeling a bit weird. I think I'm going to go home. Come on, I've been so bored. Nothing interesting seems to happen to me anymore. Also ich persönlich würde ja sagen, nein, gerade wenn sie sich so scheiße fühlt, ist es offensichtlich, dass sie entweder zu viel getrunken hat oder ihr was ins Glas gekippt wurde, was ja jetzt so war. Da wir natürlich jetzt aber alles irgendwie vom Film mitbekommen wollen, werde ich jetzt mal das machen, was ich sonst niemals machen würde, nämlich auf Ja klicken. Okay, but if it's rubbish, Also, sie sollte natürlich danach rufen, dass das Auto angehalten wird, aber wir wollen halt wissen, wie es weitergeht. Auch wenn das nur übel enden kann.
hasse sowas. Ja, wir gehen natürlich jetzt dahin. Wahrscheinlich läuft das jetzt darauf hinaus, dass wir uns jetzt selber aufhängen, aber... Looks like she got more fight in her. Can't take both. Gehen wir, genau. We're going to take one of you with us. So who's it going to be? Yeah, fuck you. We're not going anywhere. It has to be one of you. Nehmt sie, genau, nehmt sie. <lacht> Nein, ich bin still. Warum? Oh, einfach bis die wiederkommen. Glauben die auch selber nicht. Aber ich denke, wir sind jetzt der Wahrheit auf der Spur. Also dass ähm, sie sich das mit dem Geist eventuell alles so vorgestellt hat und das ja, dass sie in Wirklichkeit halt so starke Schuldgefühle hat, weil eben das passiert ist, was jetzt gerade passiert. So verstehe ich das zumindest gerade. denn des Wahnsinns. Und wenn ich jetzt drauf gehe... Was ich vermutlich auch tue.
Ich hätte allerdings das Ding mitgenommen, wo ich die Fesseln durchgeschnitten habe. That's not really how it happened. Nicht? <lacht> Is it, Christina? Ich will nach oben. Ich will wissen, ob wir jetzt drauf gehen oder ob wir hier helfen können. Los! Oder werden wir jetzt jedes Mal zurückgespult, weil sie das eben nicht gemacht hat? Ich weiß es ja nicht. Keine Ahnung. Das ist ein Arschloch. Ist es, Christina? Mich würde ja jetzt ernsthaft mal interessieren, ob ich jetzt eine Errungenschaft kriege, wenn ich jetzt trotzdem noch ein drittes Mal versuche, da hochzugehen. Aber gut, dann werden wir wohl scheinbar dazu gezwungen, rauszugehen. Ich will sie nicht zurücklassen, aber... Ist doch scheiße. Three, two, one. <laughs> Christina, you're back. It's all right, Christina, you're quite safe. Nein, sie hat sie nicht zurückgelassen. Ich sage nichts. Nichts ohne meinen Anwalt. Ja, gut, aber ich muss der Realität wahrscheinlich ins Auge sehen, ne? No. I couldn't have, I couldn't have left her. What else could you have done? 
Ja, ich hätte sie retten können, aber ich durfte ja nicht. I should have stopped it. I should have gone up the stairs. She must have known. Do you really think that in her last moment she expected you to come and save her? She must have been resigned to her fate, accepting of it even. Nein, muss sie nicht. I don't know what she would have thought. No, but you knew her. Do you really think she would want you to carry around all this all your life? You've done so well today. This is a real breakthrough. It's taken us days to get this far. You should be feeling very proud of yourself. I just can't believe she's really... Dead? Well... It's the body, Christina. Not the life. because you think of yourself first. Maybe it's just because you get scared. I don't know. I wouldn't say you're selfish, as I know that underneath you do care about your friends. But sometimes you just, you don't always let it show. Ja, da sehen wir dann die Übersicht. Es gibt vier verschiedene Enden. Ich habe 194 verschiedene Entscheidungen getroffen. Ach du Schande. Eieiei. 189 nur von 569 Zähnen gesehen. Das ist wirklich krass. Also ich denke, da lohnt es sich tatsächlich nochmal, wenn wir da nochmal eine zweite Runde machen und ja, sie doch sehr, ähm, ja, ängstlich will ich jetzt nicht sagen, aber vielleicht ein bisschen ignorant, dass sie das Klopfen ignoriert ganz am Anfang und so weiter und dass sie nicht überall reingeht und also da bin ich doch sehr gespannt, das möchte ich dann doch nochmal ausprobieren mit einer zweiten Runde. 40% Verdrängung. 95% Akzeptanz, 30% Schuldgefühle. Ja, letztendlich ist es ja positiv, wenn sie die Sachen oder die Gegebenheiten akzeptiert. Beziehung zu Charlotte war nur 30%, hallo? Beziehung zu Jack, ich bin gerade am überlegen, wer war jetzt Jack? War das der... Nee, das war nicht mein Psychologe am Ende, oder? Der hieß doch anders, meine ich. Ich weiß es gerade nicht mehr. 50 Prozent. Ich war relativ ehrlich, sehr stark. Hatte eine relativ hohe Moral. Naja gut, am Ende durfte ich mich ja nicht anders entscheiden. Äh, mein Taktgefühl ist auf jeden Fall etwas überdurchschnittlich gewesen, immerhin. Und Selbstbeobachtung habe ich zu 100 Prozent gehabt. Ja, was auch immer das jetzt heißen mag, aber... Ja, was soll man sagen? 
Ich persönlich fand es auf jeden Fall sehr, sehr interessant. Äh, ich fand es irgendwo ein scheiß Ende jetzt. Ich weiß nicht, ob das immer so ist. Wahrscheinlich nicht. Ähm, gut, ich weiß jetzt nicht, wie das ist, ob es am Ende dann immer bei der Therapie landet oder wahrscheinlich kann ich auch zwischendurch mal den Strick abkriegen oder was weiß ich. Mal sehen, was rauskommt. Auf jeden Fall bedanke ich mich sehr fürs Zuschauen und hoffe, wir sehen uns im nächsten Let's Play wieder. Ähm, ich habe noch einige andere dieser Arten von Filmen dabei. Ich muss mal gucken, wann ich die dann aufnehmen kann und hochladen kann. Ich finde es ja immer wieder ja, sehr interessant, mir diese Filme anzugucken, beziehungsweise diese interaktiven Filmspiele, sage ich jetzt mal, zu spielen. Deswegen freut euch auf jeden Fall noch auf weitere davon und ja, bis zum nächsten Mal. Ciao!